What is with you? Finally coming apart at the seams from all those late nights spent researching, huh? Please, Professor, do not act carelessly. I ask that you leave this to us. Why is it that you cannot keep a handle on yourself? How bloody stupid are you? Are you some kind of damn fool? Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. Hey everyone, uh, I wanted to take a second to say thank you to everyone for your support and awesome comments on the last video. A lot of you took time out of your day to make a stranger on the internet feel valued, and it really meant a lot to me. I'll be doing my best to keep delivering content that's worthy of it, so I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already, and- Stop talking! Let's gather a team and get going! Oh, come on, Manuela. Here we have the Hanuman and Manuela Paralogue. We get only a small elite squad to deploy here. So we'll bring Ferdinand, Hubert, Hanuman, Manuela, Silas, Kaspar, and Edelgard. We'll start off by moving up Hanuman to absorb, well, magic damage probably. And we'll have Silas move on up here, heal some damage. Warlock Kaspar can actually put out a great deal of damage, so he'll easily finish off this assassin. Manuela just has to wait. She's pretty useless and should not engage anything. Silith not in good shape. Not starting off super strong. Luckily they go for Hanuman, who as an armor knight, Sir Hanuman, can take a lot of magic damage. Ferdinand demonstrating that he is completely unstoppable here. Not so fast. Yeah. You do not come at Sniper Ferdinand with bow and expect to live to tell the tale. Caspar will try and get this unit out of the way. Ferdinand and fails. Ash pops in to rub it in Caspar's face. I guess we'll need Hubert to come in and try to clean things up. So he can remove this archer. No problem. How humiliating. Now, Ferdinand will have to try and take care of this brawler himself. 100% kill for the training gauntlets. Let's do that. You should be on Gets the crit just to show dominance. I appreciate the style. Edelgard will have to help us out here. If we can just kill everything, she won't need to Witness heal Silent. So, let's do that. Try Thunder for the slightly increased crit chance. Don't quite get it. We'll need to see if Hanuman can finish the job. The Poison Strike should make that possible. And there we go. 94% chance is good enough. And Hanuman gets a physical kill. Absorbing a little bit more magic damage, as all armor knights tend to do. Somebody came at Hubert, they will live to regret it. Constance, shockingly relevant there. Start back over here with the two Ferdy boys we've deployed. Ah, can't quite get a kill in melee with Ferdinand, so I suppose we'll have to use this silver bow. Get a somewhat lame 27 damage by Ferdinand standards. Greatness awaits me. Indeed, it does if you keep getting levels like that. Strength and speed. Caspar with the Thursis can snipe from. Really long range. 23. Hubert will get off the Wyvern for a moment to huck a short axe and take out a Fortress Knight. Another assassin we need to take out. We'll keep Silith off of the front line. 
given his health situation. Now, Edelgard will try to finish this. 74 is not great, but it's good enough. Failure is not an option. And Sir Hanneman makes something happen here. With a Helm Splitter, we can deal a lot of damage, just not get a kill. But I think they're going to keep going after Hanneman. He's fine. For Lady you hurt not. not taking crap from anyone. Ferdinand can use his sniper range here to try and get lucky with this killer bow. We've only got a 40% chance crit. 69% chance to hit those funny. Wait a minute. We got the crit. He dealt 69 damage, and he has 669 left till the next level. You can't tell me that's not a coincidence from me and Lord Ferdinand. Hubert will get a nice and simple 44 damage on the regular hit. Now we can finally get rid of this mage that's been menacing Hanneman and recover a little bit of HP. Manuela continues to lie in wait. Good dodge from Hanneman. Be mindful. Now, he's in really bad shape, so we'll get him into melee to try and work down this archer. And who can get the kill? I think Hanneman can actually make it happen. Just the training axe is good enough. Doesn't even need a combat art. Should have studied harder. Now I think we can actually heal someone up here so as to avoid just dying. Caspar can get a pretty big hit here. He's not very fast, but he deals a lot of damage. Now who of the Ferdy boys wants to get this kill. Ferdinand can do it real easy. You are nothing. Hubert is now actually in range to rescue Manuela from danger. So he'll come up and just cut this archer down. How humiliating. Now Manuela can move up a little bit. We have these flyers starting to move in, which could be quite dangerous. We'll reposition to try and draw things out. Flyers can't quite get to Manuela, which is good. Hanneman does technically get a counterattack there, so he's not just taking insane amounts of damage. Ferdinand can quickly dispatch the flyer with the silver bow. The mark of nobility. So Manuela lives another day. Now, Hubert can clear things out with a gambit to Come make the world safe strategy. for democracy. You could have at least tried. And Manuela is actually going to try and participate here. Not successfully, but she did try. Nosferatu here from Edelgard keeps her health Only total safe. Hanneman, however, not really that safe, but he can take a hit from that brawler. Silent finishes this off with 100% accuracy and gets some HP. Now, again, technically he did counterattack there, so he's not just absorbing the hit. Caspar can come up here and actually help out that first group on the left, given his range. That should knock it into the range where it can get killed by anyone. So Silith has the ability to launch a thunder on this brawler. 
Hanneman will try to hit whatever he can. He'll need a combat art to do it. And, well, maybe it'll work. It did! An unfair match. Good job. Edelgard has to finish this brawler off. 63 is not good, but still good enough. Well, how is that? Just like everyone in the run. Now, we have a bunch of units still over here. This one has really high avoidance, so we'll use this Ferdinand to snipe me. it down. Hubert really doesn't want this sticking around. You so hard. he's again going to take down a Fortress Knight with a conventional weapon. Looks like this is going after Manuela, so Hubert doesn't have to worry about getting sniped out of the sky. Now Manuela is going to try and get a kill here because she participated in the mission and she gets her participation award. Good job. Some of the enemies are running away. Don't really understand why if Hanneman is our front line. Where do we go from here? Scylith can start us off in melee range. And actually get a crit on Thunder. That is that. Made things simple. Edelgard can heal up Hanneman. This is what the goddess grants. Every me. time. Hubert can just smash its skull in. Brutal. How humiliating. Continue to reposition. Hubert continuing his reign of terror by once again just going for a smash for a one-hit kill. For Lady Edelgard. He picks up that repair. That'll become relevant later. Now we're up here against the boss unit. We are the death. We'll have Silith get us started. Well, he won't get stopped by Bolganone alone, I suppose. Luck is on my side. Yuri sneaks in a pretty quality level as an adjutant. Now, Edelgard should be able to finish things off real easy. Even has a 91% chance to hit. One step at a time. In the wrong stats, but indeed a step in some direction. Was there any doubt? Now here's the one that really earned the Paralog designation. This is the Yuri Constance Paralog to pick up the Fetters of Dromi. So we'll see how we can do protecting Duke Gert. Ferdinand here. Fears nothing and will just will snipe this. down one of these instantly, getting the crit for style points. Caspar won't be able to take anything out in one hit, but he can get pretty close. Won't even use Bolganone on this thing. As you wish. Hubert will just fly in and execute the nearest enemy. Uses that repair for, for maximum accuracy and avoidance. He doesn't even fear magic. We'll use Bernadetta and Yikes. Edelgard to draw Something out this wave over here. Be careful. <laughs> Bernadetta, really good at absorbing damage. Unfortunately, the enemies are smart and staying in the forests. See a lot of enemy repositioning here. Hubert takes minimal damage. Now, 
what's our next move? Silith can close in and start working down this swordsman. We do need to try and move quickly so that we don't get too many beasts spawning when they hit the duke. Ferdinand can really finish this off, like, a lot, Only a <laughs> again with the 69 damage crits. Caspar will help break down this mage. Who gets to end it? Hubert does, of course, because he'll be able to canto into a better position. Hardly worth my time. It, it was worth your time. Come on, give him that. Move Hubert up here so we can swoop in on more enemies later. We'll have Edelgard help Bernadetta out with this wave over here. Get a good Seraphim hit. Bernadetta will move out of the forest because she's relying more on defense than avoidance. Can she finish this unit off? Brass Strike with Steel Sword is good enough and 100% accurate. There she goes. Got him. Can't get comfortable. I can't imagine that get up is designed for comfort, no. Okay, good counterattack from Silith. Good counterattack from Edelgard. Forest doesn't give her a dodge, but. So Garrick does get a kill here, but it doesn't matter. Edelgard successfully avoids damage that time, but also doesn't get a counterattack. Ferdinand's going to speed ahead to try and get more kills before we get more monsters spawning. He never gets a crit when we want him to. So the killer bow fails to get a critical hit, so we'll have to rely on Silith to finish the job on this axe user. Should I have held back? Move Caspar up. Get this out of the way. Yeah, it worked. It did work. Edelgard will use Nosferatu to keep her health in the safe range. Dorothea gets to a very important level 20. Growth is a part of life. Not really a part of our lives too much. Bernadetta has to get rid of this last archer, or at least work it down enough that it'll die on the next turn. Linhart has yet to score a kill, and is thus in total bloodlust mode. He cannot let it live for even another moment, so he'll use the Vajramushki. Must be awful losing to me. It is awful falling victim to you, Linhart. Hubert we will use the short axe to try and get some damage here, and then Kanto to a safe distance. I said safe. Everyone moving in on Gert. This is a particularly weak monster. Gert's just going to dunk on it for a second. These archers are moving in close enough that we can get counterattacks, not sure why. Linhart will claim yet another soul. Huh. Victory. Now, Ferdinand needs to show that he is still the leader of the Ferdy boys. And here he goes, getting another 17% chance critical that deals 69 damage. So, he maintains his leadership role. We'll use a gambit here to lock the beast and these units in place. We don't need any more beasts spawning. we 
Bernadetta will inch forward, get rid of this last archer. And then she and Edelgard will crawl toward the rest of the battle. So we unfortunately do allow one more no, demonic beast in. I will not fall here. Not like this. Well, no, literally not like that. It didn't attack you. Gert worked down that health bar on his own. And now we get the Agarthan reinforcements spawning everywhere. This is what makes things so tricky. There's a lot of them on all sides. They brought reinforcements? I pray that they cause us no further difficulties. You really shouldn't have jinxed it like that, Constance. <laughs> Battle. Linhart, however, says keep them coming because they will let him do uh, <laughs> research like that. I'd rather fight drowsiness as you wish. Now we do need to get rid of these beasts or at least keep them under control. Looks like Hubert has a decent chance to just uh, get rid of this one with the killer axe. Okay, we got one. And we get the other two, but we only needed one damage. Why not? You know, that looked painful. That was a worthwhile scream. Oh, and now we're pulling aggro from those units. All right. Looks like we're getting surrounded here. And the enemies still have their eyes on Gert, who, if he dies, we instantly lose. Some mages for Linhart to deal with. And some cavalry coming in from the top. That's a weird direction for that mage to go, but I'll take it. Now, helpfully, they are clumping themselves up. So, with Hubert's gambit range, he should be able to ashes and dust a huge group. So he'll switch to the rapier for avoidance purposes. And let's hope this 80% connects. Excellent. Excellent. That gets rid of an archer and freezes a lot of units in place. So this will be very tactically useful. And they lined up over here. And we've got an assault troop still on Ferdinand. 100%. Let's do it. That, I don't understand that move there. But... Whatever floats your boat, Ferdinand. Yuri will try to keep the beast in check. Wow. Got a wave attack we can unleash here. This mess, but I'll make this quick for you. I'm here to help. Are you though? So that takes out most of the shields. We have a couple of cracked ones in the back. Can we deal with them? We still have a gambit on Silith. If we can hit both of those shields, then it freezes the monster. Geert should be good for another turn. And Linhart has free reign to just... Get rid of these sacrificial lambs over here. Victory. Caspar. Who is he going to kill? So, probably this archer is the priority to take care of. Unfortunately, we get hit by Vantage. Should have planned around that. makes money, right? And still have more worries coming from the south. Oh. Linhart, 
does not fear this. They are but food to him. This was beneath me. Good counter from Ferdinand to take out a cavalry unit. Yuri will punch a knight out. Constance takes no damage from that, but does get hit by the poison strike. Edelgard survives that encounter with the Nosferatu. You could have at least and tried. Hubert fears nothing. This will take some strategy. Now this could present a problem for Lenhart. This is the only thing that can stop his killing spree. No good. Garrett runs toward all the danger. Interesting strategy. Edelgard and Bernadetta will make quick work of this brigand here. Got him. You did indeed. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Ferdinand has to bail Linhart out of this situation by using the other assault make troops. Shrimp. So Linhart should be okay to just use a healing focus and move on. We'll need another gambit over here just to deal with the volume of units. Please hit. Good job, Petra. Okay, okay. Yuri can use a javelin on this, not taking too much damage in return. Now Silith can run over and finish the job to protect Ferdinand. Each battle a chance to grow. Now Caspar can participate from a very long distance in a lot of different things. So who's he gonna try and take down? Beast or the assassin? Uh, do need to take down the beast. Wish we could have gotten that when the health bar was already taken down from one damage. So, Hubert is going to need to help us out and get rid of this beast. If he can get the critical off, which he can, there we go. Beast no longer an issue. So, we'll reposition him over here. Now, Constance... We could go talk to Garrett, but then he would die. I think she actually needs to hit the gambit here, so it can't pass through her. Let's see if this sub coin flip will work. It, it actually does? Oh, I was really sure I would need to Divine Pulse that turn. But okay. She can actually get a profitable exchange there now that it's gambited. Uh, of course, we still have a lot of reinforcements advancing. Ferdinand demonstrates dominance with his dance moves. Caspar not in great shape, but does get to retaliate from long range. Ferdinand, once again, in no trouble, gets the double. Retaliates there. Could have been an actual danger. Still got a lot over here, and we're running low on gambits. So let's have Petra just delete this cavalry. So far left to go. Keep doing that, Ash. That's the first thing you've done right. Now, what do we even do here? They're all trying to kill Gert. Uh just snipe this guy down. Should I have held back? Now, Yuri can charge ahead and hopefully kill this. We'll need to get a little lucky with the gauntlets. 
Uh, the training lance, we only need to get one hit. So it worked. Face it. I'm better than you. Now, there is a lot going on here. What can Ferdinand do? Longbow, not the way to go. Let's try a curve shot. If you, if we can get a crit here, that would help immensely. <sighs> Come on, Ferdinand. Only when you don't need them. Caspar can finish that one off. <laughs> that was a good right, 3 smart, HP right? noise. Ugh. All right. All right. We'll have Hubert use the repair to get rid of this. You worked hard for nothing. We'll pull back. Actually, we'll keep him there to retaliate. Now we'll have Linhart get rid of this archer. Get ahead of myself. Still have a mage to worry about, but we should be fine over there. We do absolutely need to win this coin flip again for this strategy to work. So can we get two in a row? By some miracle we do. That is ridiculous. Get a little bit of healing over here with Edelgard. And see what happens. Doesn't quite get the kill there, Constance, but you've done enough. You've earned your spot. Garrett lives. Yuri also lives. Oof. Ferdinand gets a hit here, so he doesn't die. Seems simple enough. Okay, I think now we're through the worst of it, though we are all low on HP. Yuri can punch this out in vengeance and live through the counterattack to get next? the third punch in. Petra can get a really accurate hit to make this assassin go away. Now we have this brigand over here. We'll move Caspar in to soften it up. And Linhart will claim it as his own. Must be awful losing to me. Now we just need to finish off the stragglers. Garrett will run in a random direction as he is wont to do. Oh. That's easier than I was making it. Hubert lives with 1 HP. 1 HP is the same as full HP. I still have a long way to go. You really do with that kind of level. I failed to attain the relic, but the experiment yielded results. That's all that matters. Is it? Petra can't heal very well, but she can literally do it. I work to grow. She gets another white magic spell. Excellent. We didn't actually have anyone with restore before. Yeah. Oh. Good try. Armor Knight getting some good dodges in. I like it. Let's just get rid of these archers and <laughs> try to get home. <laughs> All right, three punches is shabby. enough to take down that one. One more. Caspar can attack from outside its range, make it easy enough to kill. And who gets to do the honors? Is it you, Constance? Can you win yet another coin flip? No, no, we got greedy, I recognize that. Now, Silith has to come in. And he can't use a bow, but fire will be easy enough. No, miasma. Style points. Takes the hit advantage, does not care, gets the dark magic kill. We did it. Somehow, by the grace of Hubert.
Now we get a status report. We've done a lot of fighting this month, so everyone is completely unmotivated to study, as you can see. Oh, who is motivated? Flane and Anna and Yuri and Balthus and Happy. I will master this. It's will you? It's starting to make sense. I will master this. None of this makes sense, Marianne. Don't fall into that trap. We get some class upgrades. Here is Dark Bishop Silith. Uh, pretty good that. boost to resilience from that. But, of course, we can't get everything we want. Got wrong. It, a lot of things. Joining our class, primarily. I have regret. You should, Petra. We all do. Absolutely insufferable. Hanneman's going to step in, seeing that lack of progress, uh, and try to bail us out. For you see, Hanneman is an actual professor that knows how education works. So he's going to desperately try and drive home some lessons for Silith here. Got it. Good to go. Don't teach Sylvain so reason. He's good at that. Come on, Hanneman. All right, with Hanneman's intervention, we're able to get some class upgrades for Dorothea. And we get a total of plus to you, 10 professor. stats just from the certification. And we also get a class upgrade on Petra, who will be a warlock. And she gets 14 success. total stats out of it in both magic and resilience. Here we go with the story mission of the month. So we have a lot of demonic beasts, and then we have Kranya and Solon. So we'll reposition. We'll have Ferdinand if and Bernadetta draw the beasts. Might be forced to escape. Oh, or do you simply intend to let me go? How accommodating of you. It sounds like a silent plan. I intend to kill you all. <laughs> You've been hanging out with Linhart too much. Dodge for Bernadetta, and then absorb that five. We'll take that. You can't hit Ferdinand. What are you thinking? Now, how are we going to approach this? Caspar can shatter this shield with a crit, nonetheless. And now, because this is weak to lances, we can poke a hole in this shield, easy. We kept Dorothea as a Pegasus Knight so she can try to master it before moving up to her advanced class. We'll have Silith poke another hole in the shield. Doesn't have to hit very hard to break it down, as long as it's super effective. Now, Linhart doesn't have a lance, but he can take well the win. HP bar down, and we'll do so with one hit. Now we will have Ferdinand break down that last shield so that it can't counterattack anyone. I understand more every day. Not on my account. Now, over here, we have a beast that is weak to swords, which, conveniently, this rapier is from Hubert. So let's have him start out. Gotta weaken its self-confidence, first of all. Double crit. Wow, that will... We might be able to kill this beast this turn. So let's pull Hubert back. That counterattack was actually pretty strong. So... Let's see, is it worth using a gambit? It probably is if we can just get rid of this thing on one turn. So we'll use a Raging Flames. We still have another for later in the battle. So, with two shields left, what do we want to do? 
probably want to go here. At least a javelin to poke down. This shield. Lots of crits here. Doesn't want to get left out of the crit party. And now Bernie can break down the final shield. Get some Umbral Steel out of that. Now, how much damage can Petra put out? Way more than enough. As a warlock, she has nothing to worry about. 96 is just reversed hilarious number. More feeds my body and mind. But again, not your magical talent. Amazing. Okay. Good damage resistance from Edelgard there. Now we still have this monster to worry about on this side. Caspar can get out of range, try and take it down. All right, Ferdinand can also act from out of range. Will he get one of his crits? Of course, when we don't use the killer bow, we get all the crits we want. You are not. Goes down. disappointing it is more than a bit disappointing but you won't be with bad. us long flame so it's all right linhart can you get rid of this one in the forest not with the iron gauntlets unfortunately uh all right we only need to hit with one of these if we get a crit so let's roll the dice down we get both and they're both not crits whatever Attack with a training lance here, given that I think it can resist magic. So, it can't hit back at Edelgard. So, now Yuri should be able to finish it off without you know, taking any damage in response. Face it, I'm better than you. And the fetters will allow him to move up and draw out the next wave, but I don't think he can take the hit. Unexpected. Get a tiny bit of healing on Hubert there. Bernadetta will take the two damage. You can do it, Bernie. Next wave moving in. Get some cavalry. Okay, so Dorothea is in some trouble. To move up here, we'll need to stay in the forest. Silith can work some damage down here, make that pretty vulnerable. Ferdinand in the forest is reasonably safe against a lot of things, and in curved shot range to take down this cavalry. The mark of nobility. Now, where can Linhart go? If he dives into this forest, he should be pretty safe. And can he take out this archer? I guess he'll have to use more killer knuckles. Again, no crits, but it's myself. good enough. Nothing can put a stop to Linhart's killing spree. Now, Dorothea is notoriously terrible, but she can get a kill here, given that she has Night Kneeler and the Lance of Ruin. The combination is enough to let her one-hit kill that riding unit. So she'll fly over, she has a chest key. Uh, Petra is now powerful enough to just get rid of One these things. Success. She is unstoppable with that massive magic boost from the certification. Now Bernadetta can get into melee range here. Probably hit with this, 81. All right, cool. So that will now be really easy to dispatch. Just a simple training lance poke. Poke him with a stick, works every time. Next? Move in to get some linked attack value. Edelgard hit from two range. Another subject mastered. That's the first one you've mastered. Way to phrase things. Now Hubert uh, can use the repair to deal the 25 damage we need. Hardly worth my time. Oh, 
An opening. Oh, the critical zero. Get this over with. Twice. Ah, oh, brings back memories. And that dodge means Linhart lives another day. So good job, Linhart. Uh, let's bail him out. Take out this fortress knight with apparently a critical fire. That is that. Now, how else are we going to help out here? We have that unit that's going to attack Linhart and I'd that like archer. Take it easy. Uh, so we can pretty easily punch out the archer with the Vajra drowsiness. It's simple logic. It is logical to increase strength and speed as the unit you are. Now, unfortunately, we still do have this cavalry going on, so we're going to have to get it out of the way. So that hit should allow Dorothea to fly in and finish things. She will have to use another Night Kneeler, but won't need to use the Lance of Ruin this time. So that does delay her a bit on opening that chest, but luckily she should just be able to fly back pretty quickly. This team draws out another beast. Vendetta actually not looking too great on health. We might need to fix that eventually. So we have a lot of really powerful gambits over here. We can spend a wave attack. position with fetters. Now we should probably just use a seraphim here to pop a shield. Petra can just get some good damage in. Crit will take out the health bar. One more shield to pop probably get it with the short axe, so go for it, Bernadetta. No. Oh, Indec Crest. So we get the extra five damage just for optimization. I guess hard work does pay off. With a weird mix of stats there. Now Hubert can come in with impunity just the way he likes. Just a bug to squash. Hubert sees no threats anywhere in the world with his trusty rapier. Amazing. So, he'll fly to safety. Good counter from Ferdinand. Dipping, dancing, and dodging. Okay, Caspar can steal the kill here. Right makes my right. Now we've drawn out Krania to attack so Bernadetta. But now it's time to die. Bernadetta tanks the crit with not too much issue and learns to smite from it. Ooh, I really thought Linhart would dodge that. That's not great. Now let's see if we can deal with Kranya. Can Petra get some damage in? No. Alright. Um. Well. Maybe we can... No. These are really inaccurate. We do get the 40% hit. That's pretty lucky on our part. Uh, to finish her off, I think we'll need to pull her out of the forest. 90% on this gambit means this will probably work. Alright, awesome. So that pulls her there. So now we should actually be able to hit with one of these attacks. 87 is good enough. Get the crit just to make sure it works. I'll never be satisfied. Not with that, certainly. I'm a quick study. 
Uh, not that fast at this stage of the game. So, we'll just keep Yuri there. Uh, and now Silith goes full clown mode. But we still have this demonic beast over here that is in the middle of our forest formation. So, we will have to use Caspar and Ferdinand again Victory out of range sure. to start breaking things down and Damn. getting random crits. The noble standard. Now, got more shields to break down. Uh, so this one is weak to axes. Let's have Linhart axe it down. And Bernie also has an axe, so she can hit here, pop another shield. And while Hubert loves his new rapier, he also has an axe. It will take down the health bar and the final shield. So he can fly to super safety. Edelgard will continue to trudge through the fort, the forest. <laughs> and Wella sneaks in a hit to say she technically participated more than one time in today's episode. Petra will easily finish this off, only need one use of wind. Rain spirit protect me. I'm starting to see results. You really are, wow. Hey. Good job. Everybody's encouraging each other in ways that Silith never could. Now, Silith will just get rid of this Fortress Knight. Don't know why they sent that out as the frontline unit. So we've got some more beasts to deal with. How to begin? Well, we have this wave attack. Let's show. So that will also help against the cavalry unit that was trying to come in. Dorothea can fly in and crack two of these oh, shields at once. I have an idea. That will also pull the beast a little closer to everyone else. She can fly around the side. Silith should be able to break down the last shield. Excellent. Everyone else reposition. We have another beast and some armored units coming in from the left. And a mage. Some more armor and mages coming in here. Pull down a heal on the Demonic Beast. We'll use our traditional killer bow here from outside range. And we actually get a crit with the killer bow. That's amazing. Ferdinand doesn't usually do that. Now, Bernie should be able to use the short axe to take out the rest of the health bar. More effective than I thought it would be, but still sufficient. Now, can Linhart claim a beast soul? Let's see how many crits he gets. Oh, he can't even take it down with two. So, I'll be content with all that damage in the dodge. Caspar, getting a little close for comfort, but can kill it 100%. Pretty good, don't you think? I, I don't. I fundamentally disagree, and you shouldn't go around bragging like that. It's embarrassing. Now, Yuri can punch out anyone he wants, so let's get rid of the mage. Don't forget who you're dealing with. Now, Silith can come over here and set this on fire. Should I have held back? Never hold back on Arson. Believe in yourself. Okay, reposition. Draw some units out. 
haven't yet engaged that beast, but it is now in an exposed central position. Pretty bad trade from Yuri. 20 for nothing. Adorable. But nothing to fear from that. Now, let's see. These are all clumped up and ready to get gambited. So let's have Silas do that. You fought well. Another step forward. It's not great, given that you're a dark bishop now. I think we have all of our ashes and dust left. So, that'll be really helpful for taking this down. Marvel at our strategy. Now, we just need a few simple hits to take down these shields. Good. Oh! You get a critical stick hit. And we can have Ferdinand move in to break down this last shield. Everyone else will be able to just do whatever they'd like. So, Dorothea will fly back. And hopefully take out, yeah, take out the health bar with the super effective Blessed Lance. Now Bernie can just hit with whatever. Steel Sword's probably the way to go. Now can Petra double here? Oh yeah, easy. Good enough for a level, even. Hard work created this. Tutifully and predictably avoiding magic. Linhart will never pass up an opportunity to punch out a mage. And I didn't even enjoy it. Don't lie. Okay, we have this armor unit left. Caspar will make short work of that. What a jump. And Yuri will move to that healing tile. Not a lot of healers on the squad. No hesitation. None that indeed. Didn't quite get triple digits though. Work on that. Thanks. That heal will not really help that much, I'm sorry to say. So, now Petra will instantly undo all that healing and show Silith how triple digit damage works. She's come such a long way. Double with the steel sword. Little armor fight there. Appreciate it. Heal that back just to teach Bernie a lesson, I guess. Edelgard. We'll use some white magic to get rid of it. The white magic giveth and it taketh away. Now, Hubert has had quite enough of this mission. I have no time to waste on the likes of you. Hubert has no time to waste on you, my friend. To think that I would lose to mere beasts. Hubert is a beast. I agree. I still have a long way to go. And now he's even more of one. Hubert, right? Petra! What Full clown suit feeling. mode. That concludes this episode of Failure Emblem. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next installment. If you have thoughts on what other students we should recruit and deploy, or any other choices coming up later in the game, let me know in the comments or on Twitter at, at Failure Emblem. I'll see you all next time.